Hello, hello. Well, before I go to the, you know, work, I have 10 minutes. So I'm going to just talk about this matter. Because I got some uh, a message from um, some of my friend, face friend, this Periscope friend. Uh, uh, maybe uh, she told me last night, I said, have a face more and press yourself. And then I give my testimony. So I thought I have face, but God said no. I, I, I had a leg of the face. So I pressed myself more and more. Then I got healed. Those story, I think someone, you know, hearing by that, offended. Someone, hi. <laughs> hi, Susan. Someone um, got, you know, even more faith pressed. Someone offended. Because always uh, whenever Jesus spoke something true, so some, pe some people got trust, stumble. Some people got more blessed. So always there, is, there are two ways. So I'm not offended somebody said that. Actually, she just tried understanding what I was pointing out. So I want to explain for that. I'm actually texting her privately. But... Uh, some of uh, you guys may have that same same things, you know, you felt. Uh, that's why I'm here now to explain about that. So, yeah, so my faithful friend said this. Yeah, Jesus healed a lot of people who don't have even faith. It, it's really true. In the Bible, you know, uh, there are many actually got healed, you know, just by grace of God, not even by their faith. So... I, we can think about the, the two aspects. So this is, I'm not trying to make any doctrine. I don't have any right also. I don't like to make also doctrine. I just uh, want to tell my experience, you know. Hi. So um, in my experience this past time since I have this anointing, um, I see two aspects. God just healed some people who are unbeliever and just like a street and new age in my clinic, um, it's really doesn't matter oh, how, what they have face or not. It just really easily happen. Interesting, yes, very easily happen. Unless they are blocking their heart, it's happening. If they just a little bit opening their heart, so easily happening. But we interesting is in the church is always difficult. So. And I, I thought, why church is difficult? First time, I think, I re first time I just thought, maybe the pastor taught wrong way. Yeah, some of, some of that also, that possibility. Yeah, some people like, uh, you know, just powerless pastor just teaching, you know, lots of excusing, yeah, healing is done already, it's no more happening. Maybe those concepts we have learned, that also one of the reasons also. But uh, not only that, I see God is a um, little more strict with believer. You know, more like picky. You understand what I mean? Because it's, this healing is not the point. We anyway die. Um, God wants to have a relationship with us. So he doesn't want to miss this chance when we are sick. So um, if God, is, God healed us so quickly, we may miss uh, to go to the Lord more and, uh, you know, more having relationship. So the more we pressing, pressing, actually we get more relationship. Hi, hi, DK Rhonda. So I know you who you are. <laughs> so the more, the, you know, when we pressing, pressing ourselves, we actually go to the Lord, yeah. Uh, more having relationship with struggling, you know? So then we gain him more. So I think that's most crucial things than just healing. You know, a lot of people got healed and then they, they lost the Lord. What is the point? Yeah, mind reader. What is the point? You get healed and you, you, you lost, you know, faith, the, the Jesus. You left Jesus. Yeah, some of us are like that. What is the point? It's new age also can heal or some, some people. It's healing is not the point. Our relationship with the Lord is the point. So uh, what I want to say, um, God is a little more picky and str more strict. So if you would say, 
I have faith why I God not healed me. If you do say, I don't know about that, then God is wrong? Because the Bible said if you have faith, according to your faith, God is you know, here. So if, because if we speak something to move a mountain to the you know, sea and believe no doubt, what happened? That's the God's promise. So if you really spoke to the, the, your situation with full of the faith, it's supposed to happen. If nothing happened, is God is wrong? The word of God wrong? Do you know what? Do you understand what I mean? So please don't be offended. Uh, um, you know, oh, you lack of the faith and, and that actually brought, you know, you're not healing. Don't be off offended. You know, if you hear that, you can, pr why don't you press yourself more, you know, until you get uh, more faith. So, you know, what I'm saying is faith is actually is nothing, nothing like uh, something stripe ourselves to believe, you know. It, it, it's, it, that is not the faith. What is faith? Faith is Jesus himself. Faith, we don't have faith, to be honest, include me. We don't have faith in our mind. Because faith is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ not in our mind. Jesus Christ in our, you know, spirit. So faith is in our spirit. So when you move on to the spirit from your mind, you have faith. If you have Jesus little teeny, you have faith in little teeny. If you have Jesus this much more, you have faith more. So faith is all about the Jesus. It's nothing, nothing you be, strive to believe something in your natural. So if you, if you are like offended, oh, you lack of the faith. If you offended by that, I think you are in your mind still. That's why you are offended. The people who are in the spirit, they don't need offended. So this is my faithful friend who actually, um, Text me. She, I, I don't think that she offended. She just tried to uh, understanding what I'm saying because her friend seems like offended, not her. So anyway, so um, fa we have faith in our spirit. We have to believe this, but in our mind we don't have faith. Include me. It's a serious matter, you know. So when we have, when we are in our mind, we really don't have faith because the faith is not in our mind. You know, faith is in our spirit. So you have to move on from your spirit, the, the, the mind and move on into the spirit. When you are in stay, staying in the spirit, you have faith. Because faith is there, not in your mind. So what we need to do, we just simply move out from the, our mind and enter into the spirit. Then we have a spirit, you know, faith. You may have little, you may have more, because some may have more Jesus, which means more have faith, you know? Not all people face the same. But you know, Jesus said, even most of us of the see this faith, you know, move a mountain. So I believe uh, if you are really move on into the spirit, you have faith. As much you move the mountain of your situation. Yeah, shut up your mind. <laughs> I like it. I like what you said. <laughs> shut up. Shut down your mind. Your mind is so noisy. You distract me. Your mind is just so old, man, which is crucified Jesus Christ. We are died on the cross with Jesus Christ. You know, our mind, it belongs to our flesh. You know, the devil is uh, mingled in our mind, you know, from the beginning. He attacked our mind. Hey, well, why don't you take that the tree of the light, you know, evil and good, you know? It looks good, huh? If you take that... You don't think so? That make you so wise? Just like God? He attacked our mind, actually. He couldn't attack our spirit. You know, the devil is still attacking our mind now. Hmm? Oh, Emiko said, you leg of the face. That's why you are not healed. Oh, that's not true. You know? And then just make offending, frustrating. Which means you are in mind, actually, if you're offended. I'm telling you this. 
I don't, I don't try to offend anyone. I love you guys. So I, that's not my point. Jesus loves you. All you guys, I love too. I, I'm not, I don't have any right to, you know, saying, judging, condemn. No, I, I'm, I'm not. That's not my point. My heart just all oh, you, your healing. I really want to see your healing more. I want to help. So, please, when I said, press more, and uh, please don't get wrong way, okay? I'm asking you. Alrighty, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Human being is so difficult. <laughs> oh, our mind is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are sick. <laughs> that uh, you know, fall on nature. So okay, I want to finish there, and I will come back maybe later. I don't know. Tonight I'm really busy. I'm going to the some uh, our church ministry team prayer. So oh, I'm gonna ask. So one of the my uh, the the Jewish friend coming there because I didn't take her as a client on purposely. I'm excused. I'm too busy, so that she can come to the church. Um, she will make tonight. She had Lyme disease, you know. Uh, yeah, hopefully she received Jesus when we pray for her. Please remember her and pray for her, okay? Thank you. We will see maybe tomorrow or if, you know, Holy Spirit leading me maybe late tonight. I don't know. We'll see. All righty. Bye-bye. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You say I'm beautiful. You too. You guys all. We are all beautiful in Jesus. Okay, well, okay, gotta go.